In the metal squadron, taking a look at the June Gold Futures contract, which had a little stabilization in its price action today after yesterday's drop below 1900. Yesterday, gold fell 1.98%, which was the worst one day drop since March 9th. It was also the first time gold settled below $1,900 an ounce on the future side since February 25th. Gold is now down four of the last six sessions for a total drop of over 4.3%. Today, we ended up finishing the day just above 1,900, up about a third of a percent. The low today, 1896.30, still below that key $1,900 level, but it was still a 30 cent gap higher from yesterday's settlement at 1896. So a little bit of positive there. And then on the high side of things, we were up over eight tenths of 1% at 1912.20, but obviously came off from those highs. Now, China is part of the reason the fears of a China slowdown is affecting, potentially affecting seasonal buying that goes on right around at the end of April, going into the beginning of May. India, China, that whole Asian region tends to give a push toward physical buying of gold at this time of year, going all the way through May and into June as the celebratory wedding season and things like that happen in those regions. Gold is still, physical gold is still a very popular gift to be given. And because of the China lockdowns that we're seeing due to the increased rising COVID cases, they just instituted uh, a, region a regional testing program in the Beijing area that has kind of put a damper on some of these people that might be positioning for that particular seasonal spike. Also dollar strength, the dollar is up four straight sessions since giving a little bit up five sessions ago for a total gain of over 1.8%. Now previously, gold had gone up regardless of the dollar spiking with it, but that is sort of detached now with gold off four of the last six sessions, as I mentioned, and the dollar up four straight sessions for that 1.8% gain.